How did you get the position of assistant conductor to the music director of the New York Philharmonic? Uh, through an audition, um, which was in uh, April, right? In April, yeah, in April of, of this past year. Did Alan Gilbert year. come and watch? Did you submit a videotape, a video to him? Yeah, what, what um, was it? I, I submitted a videotape, and then they invited five of us to an audition. Um, and it was with the New York Philharmonic, which sort of made it all worth it. It didn't matter if I got it or not. I got to conduct the New York Philharmonic. Um, <laughs> and uh, so we got about 25 minutes with the orchestra, uh, with Brahms first, um, Mozart 38, Appalachian Spring, and La Mer. So a huge range of repertoire, and it's a, you know, it was a fantastic choices of repertoire, because you really have to be four different people conducting those pieces. Did they tell you what it was going to be? You'll do the first movement, bar 25 to bar 72 kind um, of thing. They lined them up, a you knew what to expect when you walked in? I knew, I, I knew the repertoire, and Alan, uh, he said right before I went out, he said, just go, don't say very much, we just want to see you conduct, and if you really want to say something, go ahead. And that was, that was basically it. We basically, he would stop us and say, you know, go, can you go on to La Mer? But he was sitting, you know, right where some of you are sitting as I was standing up there. So that was, uh, you know, I had a good line of sight to, to Alan all the time during that audition. And did anybody try to, try, try to trip you? The elbow came in a measure too early just oh, to no, test no. you? <laughs> no, they, you know, they're New York, they're consummate professionals. So they I really... didn't mean that they would have done it accidentally. No, 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 I know, no, I, they, they were really, uh, <laughs> I mean, no, they, they would have done it very deliberately. No, no, they were, they were extremely supportive and responsive. And I mean, I'm not just saying that. They were really were extremely warm and easy to work with. And, you know, was, all five of us were nervous. And to conduct an orchestra of that prestige and that ability is, is an incredible experience. So they were really with us, which is fantastic. So what's your job as, as assistant conductor? What do you do? Um, I... Uh, there's two of us. Uh, Case Gaglione is the other assistant. And we share covering, which means we sit in the audience during all of the rehearsals, uh, which is very lonely, actually, sitting alone in the bottom part of Avery Fisher Hall, which is you know, 1,500 seats, and you're the only person in the hall. Um, and we, in case of emergency, we would step in to conduct the performance uh, if, if that was necessary. And we also, uh, depending on who the conductor is, they'll turn around and ask, can you hear this? Uh, so we're just really sitting there with the score saying, yeah, I can hear it, or no, you know, it's too loud, or basic things like that. And we're just sort of there for whoever's conducting to bounce ideas off of and to, to make the performance a little bit on a, higher, on a little bit higher level. You get some other kinds of coaching and experience with Maestro Gilbert, though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alan is unbelievably generous with his time, and he's the busiest person I've ever met, you know, even more busier actually than my sister is. And, uh, but he wants us to come to before, during, and after the rehearsals, before, during, and after the concerts. He specifically asks for that because we're always a little bit cautious about not bothering these guys. They're really busy. They're thinking about the concert. And, but he, I, I asked him the first night, I said, do you want me to come back at any time? He's like, yeah, come at intermission and come after. We'll talk about it. And it's just a, an amazing generosity of time, and he's so open with his ideas and his opinions. So it's really great. So you get to hear what he's thinking about at intermission, how the first part went, or what exactly. he's anticipating, or, or yeah, yeah, and, all of those things. Yeah, he's really he says, oh yeah, that went well. You know, I felt really good about that, and then he kind of gets in the zone for the second half, and it's it's really, it's really interesting as a young conductor to see somebody who's so established and so, um, so together with this, uh, really focus on a, on a second half of a performance like that. And he could certainly be too busy for you if he wanted to. If and, he wanted and to And nobody be, would could, criticize exactly, him Exactly. If he wanted to, he, he wouldn't see us at all. But he sees us absolutely more than he needs to. You know, it's, it's really one of the best parts of this job is that almost unfettered access to Alan.